Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at a game called Soria. Um, it's a story that is based on an old Norwegian folktale, I think, uh, about a castle that appears uh, and something to do with the embodiment of happiness or, or something like that. But I don't know how, how close this game will actually stick to that story. It probably uh, goes off on its own kind of uh, adventure. So I guess we're just going to jump in. This is a game made by a small group of people from UK Cornwall. Um, I believe it's in its prototype stage right now. So there's definitely a lot of things that are going to be worked on this game. But uh, we're going to jump in, check it out. Uh, this is a very early version of the game. So we'll see kind of where its strong points and weak points are. And uh, if you want to play it, you can go onto itch.io. I'll leave everything in the description. You can go down, you can check it out, and you can give it a go yourself. Um, but for now, let's just jump right into the game. So we're playing as this guy. I believe his name is Ask, uh, which I think is short for Askad. Uh, Ask Aladdin. Uh, I think was the original name from the uh, original story, but. Again, I don't know how closely this is going to play to that story. So we've got one hungry boy looking for some apples. Uh, right off the bat, it looks really, really nice. Um, the textures very much remind me of those old school 3D platformers. Uh, I mean, more so the green just reminds me of Spyro the Dragon. But maybe that's because it's just a big grassy area. Um, it looks nice. Uh, there's some nice kind of uh, fire effects going over this. This, I believe, is the checkpoint, so we'll find a few of these as we go along. So let's just check out uh, this area and some of the controls. Um, so just a regular move around. Um, the camera is super sensitive, so if you're going to play, you want to be really careful with that. That can certainly be toned down a little bit, but I believe you can't do that through the options. There's only uh, very minimal options that you can actually work with. Uh, so yeah, that's the camera here. So again, um, you can get away with playing it uh, smoothly, but you've just got to be very careful with that analog stick. Um, or if you're using mouse and keyboard, this game does recommend controller, but mouse and keyboard works just fine. Uh, the mouse is a bit more stable. Uh, so here, this is our uh, um, action command. So we can make music by blowing through the holes. Uh, I guess this is used to push enemies out of the way or or blow things I, I guess I'm not too sure whether there's enemies in this game or whether it's more puzzle based but I guess we'll see so we've got to jump uh, that didn't work we've got to double jump we've got to double jump so I guess there's also collectibles I don't know if these do anything for us but we've put that on our hat it looks like maybe there's another three to collect oh three four five six maybe to collect uh, we'll try and find those as we go, but um, what we're going to do is we're just going to go through and keep an eye on the game. So there's only one way to go right now, so we'll head up the stairs. Uh, this controls super tight. Um, I feel very, very confident in kind of my jumps and my movement right now. Um, and you can also do a glide if you were to just kind of mash the button down but you've only got a very limited glide which uh, comes into play I think in a minute I don't think we take full damage so we can just jump right down here uh, now I do have um, a bit of a confession to make can we do something with this no I do have a little confession to make I have played a little bit of this just to set up the recording and just to kind of see what it's like and I had a few issues that I found that nobody else had and one of those points was here through this wind tunnel uh, you're supposed to just kind of nicely glide through but as you'll see in just a second uh, it seems to be a problem that is just on my own end uh, where the game just spazzes out completely so we'll see maybe it's fixed itself maybe it hasn't <laughs> no no it hasn't uh, so that's definitely one thing that needs to be fixed um, again I've seen other people play this particular part because I was quite concerned to see whether it was a bug with the game or something maybe with my system. Uh, it seems everybody else can manage that just fine. Um, I'm not quite sure why it happens to me, but this happens with a lot of these wind tunnels, uh, which is a big issue for navigation because, one, you kind of miss a lot of the, the scenery, the nice scenery that's been sort of laid out there. Uh, two, you can get stuck. I've, I've got stuck in a few of the little crevices and cave areas there. Um, or against some of the thorns, uh, I kind of got stuck and had to restart, which 
uh, is a bit of a pain. Uh, so a bit more through this tutorial section. So uh, this is just telling us that we can do our flap. So we need to make it across here. So tap, 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 jump, tap, 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 tap. So, I mean, the the levels have been designed in, in quite a nice way where it doesn't seem like it's been forcefully put there. Um, the formations all look kind of reasonably natural. Now, it looks like we have to go up there, but it looks like there's some places up here. I wonder if we can grab onto that. We can. <coughs> okay, I will. it looks like we're balancing right now. So, uh, maybe there's another feather up here, possibly. Let's see if we can find another feather hiding somewhere up here. Again, the controls are absolutely fine. I don't see any issues with the controls, apart from, like I said, the camera. Uh, is there anything? I don't, it doesn't look like there's anything up here. I don't think we can... Oh, there is something over there. So we must be able to get up here. Is there a higher place that we can grab onto? I don't see a higher spot, so maybe this is just going to be a very tricky jump. Yes, it is. That is very tricky. Can we even... I mean... We must be able to get up there. Uh, ah, there we go. Okay. So, looks like we found another feather. This one is very well hidden. So, there's definitely going to be some nice collectibles to find. I don't know what they do, whether they do something or not. Uh, I would imagine uh, a game like this, the more feathers you have, the longer you could fly. Uh, if that's the case, it hasn't been implemented yet, I don't think. But it would make sense. Uh, there was another game called uh, A Short Hike, I think, uh, where you collected feathers to do uh, more kind of gliding and flying and, and so on and so forth. Um, so I guess in that respect, it's, it looks like it could become a similar game to A Short Hike, um, but that is very, very open. Okay, we kind of got up here quite nicely compared to the other wind tunnel, which is great. That, that's fine. Uh, things are kind of working right now. Uh, so we're going to come through here. There's our apple tree. One big boy. So what do we do now? Well, I mean, we want the apple. We're hungry. We're hungry. Okay, so I guess we'll be following him. Um, but I want to explore. There's another feather over there, which we need to grab. So I definitely want to explore that. Uh, does the... Yes, the grass does interact with our... Uh, wind attack and what's this over here? Windmill. Oh, I wonder if we've already missed some of those. Oh, we can blow it. Maybe we need to do something with it. Or is it just something small and interactive that is fun? Okay, we can clap. And we can hold on to our little griffin. I guess that's all that does for now. Um, so far, so good. It looks like there's, some, yeah, there's some, there's some other areas that maybe you don't necessarily need to go to. Uh, it looks like there's a feather over there as well. Uh, something down there looks like a fan. Uh, possibly a way to get back up. Let's check it out. So let's get the feather, and we've got flamingos, no swans. What are they? Oh, pelicans. Pelicans. Can we clap? No, they don't seem very impressed with us at all. The water looks super nice. Super nice. Okay, let's grab this feather. So we've got one, two, three feathers so far. Don't know if there's anything else around here. It looks like that's pretty much it, so we could uh, carry on. Uh, now there's another game uh, this uh, developer has made, um, it's some kind of cooking simulator, I think it was called Cutting Onions, uh, I'm not 100% sure what it was called, I haven't played it, but I'll leave that in the description uh, below as well so you guys can check that one out. Uh, see what I mean about 
the uh, air, I kind of get zipped through it one way or another. It's very hard to stay in this sort of stream uh, for that. Let's go collect this other uh, feather. So we've got a nice kind of waterfall area. Uh, there's lots of these things with holes in, or, or that used to have holes in. Um, I wonder if they will kind of uh, come into play later in the game. Again, this is only a very, very uh, short prototype demo, as far as I'm aware. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how long it goes on for, but so far I like what I see. There's, there's a lot of potential for this game. Definitely a lot of potential for this game. Um, I'm seeing kind of uh, mainly puzzles, uh, a lot of exploration. Um, again, I don't know so much about the enemies, but we'll, we'll see about that. Uh, now, there's always got to be something hidden behind a waterfall. We're not there. How about this one? Every time you see a waterfall in a game, you've got to check it out because you know. You know. Okay, maybe not. No, I'm still moving. Ah! Aha! Oh, there's nothing here. Oh, I did just get a feather. Okay, nice. We found another feather. It always pays. Always pays to check out the waterfalls. Is it me or is the colour of the... Yeah, the water is changing depending on kind of where... I guess where the sun is hitting, where the shadows are. Uh, it's kind of going from a nice sort of... Um, nice kind of aqua blue to, to a bit of a turquoise green. That's, that's a really nice effect. I like that. That is super, super nice. Alright, let's continue up here. There's some kind of castle gates. I guess uh, we're not going through. Oh, I guess we are going through. Uh, so we're going to make our way into the castle. Here's another checkpoint. So if we were to, I guess, get stuck or die. I don't know if you can die yet. Uh, but if you were to get stuck or die, I guess you can load that last checkpoint from there. Uh, let's look at the gate. Quick, see what's through there before we go through. Okay, so it looks like there's an area with a lot of platforming, so... That looks pretty cool. Um, we've got to get out there. Can we? Ah, I think I've taken a little shortcut. Okay, well that's cool. Saves us some time. Not that I'm trying to speed run this. I want to take my time because I want to really try and show off uh, a lot of this game to you guys. Just, just so you get a good idea of what's going on with it. Um, we'll jump up here. We kind of automatically grab onto ledges if we're close enough, which takes us up. Looks like looks like we're going up here. Okay, so the camera is kind of oh hello, the camera is nudging us um, on where we need to go sometimes. So, I mean, when when a level design is is put out in the way where you always kind of automatically know where to go, you know you're doing a good job. So, uh, so far the layout and the design of this is working for me really really well. Um, I always seem to kind of know where I'm going. I mean, there's it's not. In a way, it seems quite densely populated, but really it's not. There's not a huge amount to do apart from follow this linear path right now with a few small branching paths off Where's the guy? Oh, okay. A few small branching paths offwards to grab some collectibles and, and things like that. Um, so I, I don't know whether things will expand later or not. I've got another one of these holes. Doesn't seem to do anything apart from just make music for now. Maybe, maybe some super duper smart person will come and make music with those later on in the game when it's finally released. Uh, I don't know. For now, there's lots of fans around that look like they need to be activated. Let's go and activate some of these fans. Check out the area. It looks like this is the first way to go. Oops. So what did that do? That started that one up. Uh, we can get up here. Can't really go anywhere else from here. So uh, this, I guess we're going over there. Okay, that didn't quite work. Again, I, I'm having this issue where I can't stay in this stream for some reason. And I don't understand why. But it's, it's a little bit annoying because it kind of takes away from, from the game. Uh, can I get some air please it makes it a little bit frustrating to to do some of this platforming if, if i mean with a platforming game if your platforming is kind of broken it can be a bit of an issue unfortunately 
so that's one thing that uh, I can see definitely needs being fixed. Are we going to make it this time? No. Oh, this is really, really, really frustrating. Come on. Come on. Just make it. Just make it. Okay, I think we've done it. I think we've done it. So, definitely uh, something needs to be done with these to make these work a little more consistently. Um, when they work, they work really, really well. But when they don't, it, it really takes away from the game and the gameplay and just ends up getting me more frustrated. Um, I mean, I'm still going to push on because I really want to see uh, kind of the end of this demo. Can we get up here? We can. There's another area. Now this looks real nice, real nice. I've got another feather too. Let's grab that feather. I'm sure we've probably missed some. We're not looking super diligently. Uh, we've got some kind of um, cave painting. Uh, there must be something, something to do with these. Something, but if there is, I haven't figured it out just yet. So let's carry on. So it looks like it wants us to continue over there. Okay, let's see how this goes. Let's see if we can make it. Aha, there we go. So when the gliding works, as you can see, it works perfectly. It's a charm. It's a real charm to do. Um, and if it worked that way all the time, I would absolutely love it. So again, there's just a few things that really need to be fixed um, because that can uh, throw you erratically into the space. Uh, which again can get you stuck, can make you have to restart certain portions, uh, which you don't really want to be doing. Uh, but I think we're getting used to the way it kind of works, so let's follow this down. Is there any areas? Can we jump? I guess there's nothing, nothing down. It looks like the wind is blowing us in to stop us from jumping off there anyway, so let's follow down here to, I guess, the next area. All right. This could be complicated. Let's see how it works. Okay, it's working. It's working. Um, kind of. There we go. Okay, that works for me. That is absolutely fine for me. Let's see if we light this up. There we go. Because I don't want to have to do that and have it not work properly for me. Uh, these lily pads look really nice. Uh, the water really reminds me of somewhere between a mix of uh, Wind Waker and Breath of the Wild, uh, the Zelda games, just the way it kind of looks. It looks super nice. Um, and that's just kind of what it reminds me of. As well as other games, this game uh, certainly must be inspired by things like um, Banjo, Banjo-Kazooie, uh, possibly Yuka and Lele, uh, although that is uh, quite new in the whole grand scope of gaming. Uh, there's definitely inspirations uh, from similar games what's going on here there we go okay we're up is there any other feather oops any other feathers anything we've missed is that one there there is there's one right there let's grab that i don't know what happens if we manage to grab these feathers i don't know i, I don't even see a counter i guess the only thing the only way we can tell is by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've got eight feathers. I guess maybe. Mm, I don't know. Does that make us fly longer? I don't think it does. Let's keep going. Ah, uh, here's the two headed. Three headed, two headed. I think there's three heads there. Yes, yes, it's a three headed troll with a tree on his back. All we want was an apple. That's all we want. Just an apple. Uh, I guess oh, it looks like there's more. There's a hand right over there. So there's definitely some storytelling to be done here. A lot of it as well by the looks of it. And they seem to be quite high up in the sky because they are clouds. I don't really know how high up we are or where is that castle we saw at the beginning. There was a big yellow castle. Where did that go? I don't see it. I don't see it anywhere. Doesn't matter. Let's go on. So what more do we have to do? The soundtrack as well. The soundtrack works really, really well. Um, 
it's it's just nice. It's just nice. There's nothing more to say. Again, we've got these air holes. Nothing there really. I mean, you can see the wind kind of flowing through them. Does that mean we can glide? No. <laughs> can't glide through the area uh, but it looks like maybe the puzzles are gonna get bigger yes this certainly looks like a big puzzly area let's do that it's got a nice platform coming up there let's grab this feather while we can great great have a quick look around the area so we're being introduced uh, platforms now uh, all have kind of the same mechanic really um, as, as the fans we kind of turn the power on using the power of wind, uh, platform activates, um, and then platforming commences, which is nice, which is nice. Uh, that's also another hand sticking out the ground there. Maybe he's trying to grab one of those uh, rocks with the holes in? I don't know. I mean, we don't really have enough information to go by about what the story of this game really is, apart from the fact there's this kid and his griffin and some trolls. And we're hungry. We're a hungry boy. Can we get up here? Oh, we can. But there's nothing. There's nothing here. I mean, it looks like we're supposed to go across those to get over there. Can we reach it this way? Actually, no, I don't think we can. There we go. Let's do it this way. Oh, this takes us right down to the bottom. So it acts as a uh, checkpoint, which is nice to see as well. Uh, sometimes having to do the same platforming over and over is not very good. Um, tends to get a little bit frustrating. But we're okay. There's another one up there. Do we see any more feathers? I don't see feathers. Or windmills. I've only seen the one windmill as well. So maybe that was just a one-off thing. Uh, are they fingers again? They are fingies. Let's follow this round here. Oh, so now we're above that little walkway that we were just a minute ago. There's another feather. Let's go for the feather. Let's get safe first. Then go for the feather. There we go. Cool. Tons of feathers. And oh, I almost jumped down there then. We don't really want to do that. There we go. Oh gosh, we really gotta go that high. Alright. Uh, okay. Oh, it cycles to and from, that's fine. That's cool. Anything else to see? How do we get over there without falling to our death? Can we reach that? I guess we're going to try. Oh, I think we can, just about. And over here. There we go, there we go. Okay. Off we go. Okay, so there's that way, the big open area. Oh, there's that way. Looks like there's something over there maybe we can collect. This is going to be awkward. Oh, there's the castle, just over to our left there. Right, I guess we'll do our best to see. Away, and jump, and fly. There's a troll face. Okay, away, and jump, and fly, or flap. We don't really fly, we just flap like madmen until we manage to get over there. Is over here. What is over here? There's another feather. Is that another? There's something else here. What is this? What does it do? Uh, what did it do? I didn't see it do anything. easier to travel? No, I don't think it did. Well, actually, I think it did because they kind of fly in a bit sooner. Make it Makes it a bit easier for you to get back, I think, so you don't have to keep... Oh, no, I see what it's done. I see what it's done. Right down here. It's activated this fan here so we can get back up. There we go. And it's working perfectly. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Nice. All right. Let's keep... Is this the end, or maybe we can climb on his back? 
I don't think we're going to be able to do that. <laughs> oh, we got an apple. We got the apple. Awesome. And it's about time. Very nice. Very, very nice. I really enjoyed that. Um, it's not very often these days that I really enjoy a nice platforming game because they're just not like they used to be now. Maybe it's my age. Maybe it's just the way games are nowadays. But I really, really enjoyed that. And it's something I, I feel like I've missed over the past 10, 15 years. So um, I would definitely recommend this game when it's out. Uh, I believe it's going to be a long time. They may or may not release new demos, but if you want to follow them on Twitter, I believe it's at Polygraph, or, oh, sorry, Polygraph uh, on Twitter. You can follow them. You can kind of track their progress and uh, see how this game progresses. Again, you've got the demo to download. You can try it out for yourself. I see good things from these people. Um, I, although there are a few negative parts of the game, this game is only a very early alpha or prototype build, so there are going to be massive, massive changes in the future. So, again, um, all I can really say is good things about this game. Uh, I'm going to be singing its praises because it's really, really enjoyable. Even with the issues I had, um, super enjoyable, and I look forward to see what they do in the future. So this was Soria. If you guys did enjoy, don't forget to drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel for more. Uh, we're playing Spelunky on the channel. I've got a few out already without the commentary, but I guess I could add some at some point maybe. Uh, we'll see. Um, and also, don't forget to go follow Pol uh, Polygraph because uh, they're the ones doing the hard work um, so we can enjoy pretty much everything that comes out of it. So thank you for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next video, whenever that shall be. See you later, guys. Bye.